Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. This week we're going to be going over the topic of fields, um, which is just a set that in, endows uh, certain axioms. Um, so we'll get into the axioms when we, uh, when we construct our set, uh, when we construct our field from our set, but for now our set is just 0 and 1, and we have to construct a field that follows all of our axioms perfectly. Um, so, of course, we're just going to make sure throughout along the way that it has uh, multiplicative and additive, um, associative and di distributive laws applied, meaning that you can reverse the order in which things happen uh, as far as multiplication and addition goes. And you can also uh, distribute across uh, parentheses, but we're not going to be really doing that much of that. Um, and also something that we're going to keep in mind that is a little less trivial is we want our field to be closed under multiplication and addition. Uh, so that means if we multiply our numbers together, we're going to get um, something that's in our field, of course, um, similarly with addition. Uh, so now, in order to construct our field, we have to have additive and multiplicative inverses of each of each of these, and um, we also need to have additive and multiplicative identities of uh, of the of the field. So um, we're going to start with the additive inverse, which means that uh, it's it's a number which we would add to a to an element in our field that will return 0. So easy for 0, we're just going to put uh, and for 1, we're just going to say that 1 plus 1 equals 0. So this means that 1 is its own additive inverse and um, which makes, which makes sense in our field because we want um, our, uh, our number to have an additive inverse that is within the field that we can add and return something that is also within our field. Um, now we're just going to do additive identity, which is just something that when you multiply, or uh, when you add to uh, itself, it returns itself. So in the reals, uh, which, are, which are a field, in the real number field, uh, 0 is the additive identity. So we're just going to say, uh, we'll just choose 0 again. So the, those are the rules for our, uh, these are basically all of our rules for addition. And um, notice that 0 is its own um, um, additive inverse and additive identity. Uh, so we're going to move on to multiplicative stuff. Um, so we have multiplicative uh, inverses and multiplicative identities, of course. And so actually, for the multiplicative identity of 0, uh, is just going to be uh, 0, uh, because 0 times 0 is itself. Um, in the reals, uh, we have 1, and, and uh, 0 times 1 is also 0. So I'm just going to put that down. So we have our um, multiplicative identities for 0, or identity for 0, and I uh, believe I made a mistake. But uh, yeah, this 0 times 0 is uh, actually is multiplicative inverse. So um, right, yeah. Uh, and now we just need our multiplicative identity for 1. And so I believe with all with these, one, two, three, four, 
With these six uh, rules, this, this is the entirety of the laws for this field, which uh, can be constructed out of just two elements, zero and one. Thank you for watching this problem on a field slash set theory or real analysis or whatever topic. Um, you can find a great book on rings, fields, and groups out on our website store. Find a link to that here. If you want more problems of the week or to subscribe to our YouTube channel, also links here. Uh, of course, if you're on a mobile device, cards can for all this cards for all this can be found in uh, links for all these can be found in a card up in the corner. Thank you for watching and have a good day.